Hey, what's up everybody? This is Brandon Lee with Virtualization How To and coming to you from the home lab environment. And I wanted to spin up a quick video just to uh, detail the process uh, required to update your VCSA or vCenter server appliance uh, from an earlier version of vSphere 7 to the newly released uh, vSphere 7 Update 2. And vSphere 7 Update 2 is an, a fantastic release. It's full of uh, really awesome new uh, functionality and capabilities. Uh, and even one of the cool things that you will see after updating is a newly enhanced vSphere client. So new streamlined look, uh, new icons, and the whole nine yards. So really cool uh, part of that update. But under the hood, other than just the uh, aesthetics of the vSphere client, there is a lot of uh, really cool functionality, especially in the world of vSAN. Uh, 7.0 update 2 uh, that you can take advantage of. So what I'm going to do is I uh, have my console or my VAMI uh, connection to a vSphere server appliance. As you can see, VMware vCenter, uh, vCenter server management uh, interface. So I'm going to log in as the SSO administrator. And you're going to see over on the left hand side, uh, you're going to see the update tab. So what we're going to do, and this is a common error uh, that you see displayed, we're going to uh, go all the way over, check updates, and we're going to select CD-ROM plus URL. And should just take a couple of moments. Uh, the vCenter uh, server appliance will reach out uh, to the update repository and it'll pull down the fact that we are missing the update to uh, update. So as you can see, we do show the 7.0.2 uh, for the Update 2 release uh, displaying here. So uh, as you notice, it's a fix. It's released uh, March the 8th, 2021. So to get this update, all you have to do is click the Stage and Install uh, option. So that brings up the uh, expected EULA. So we're going to click the checkbox that we accept. We're going to click Next. And it's going to run just a, a few pre-check updates to make sure that everything is compliant to uh, receive the Update 2 uh, update and that everything checks out uh, with our current state of the VCSA appliance. And there you have it. We've moved on to Step 2, which is additional information uh, here, it actually needs us to re-enter the SSO administrator password. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to enter that password. I'm going to click Next. And it's going to validate those uh, credentials. And then at that point, we will actually be to the point of uh, getting the question asked, have we backed up vCenter? And, and if we have backed up vCenter, uh, which I'm going to say that we have. Uh, normally what I would do is take a snapshot from the host level uh, before I proceed with the update for the VCSA appliance. So you can do that, log into your host UI, take a quick snapshot of the VCSA appliance. That's one of the quickest and easiest rollbacks if you have something happen with the update. So we're going to check the box. I have backed up vCenter and now we simply hit finish. And once we click finish, you will start to see the update will start the staging process. So it will start pulling down the update. It's going to stage that update. It's going to replace files that need to be replaced. It's going to stop services and it will then eventually start services. So what I'm gonna do is this will take a few minutes. I'm going to pause the video and then I will come back to you guys after we've got a a successful install of the VCSA uh, 7 Update 2 uh, upgrade uh, on our VCSA appliance. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, we've went through the installation process for the VCSA appliance. We've uh, staged and we've installed the VCSA update. And as you notice, we have an installation succeeded. So I paused the video so 
it was around 10 minutes of installation time for my nested lab environment that uh, using to showcase this feature uh, for the video. So now all we need to do is just click close. Uh, the web interface for VAMI will automatically come back up and become responsive where you can log in um, at that time and you can uh, go in. The, the thing we want to check is under the update we now see version 7.0.2 and that is what we expect for uh, vSphere 7.0 update 2 for vCenter server. So I'm going to link in the description. I have a, a new blog post that I posted to discuss the new features found in uh, vCenter server uh, 7 update 2. And one thing I wanted to show is what the new web interface looks like. So I've already opened a new tab to uh, the VCSA appliance, the vSphere client side. So not VAMI, but vSphere client. So we're going to log in as SSO administrator and we are going to see a new streamlined uh, interface uh, with the Clarity UI, I believe is still what they, they are referring to uh, this as. And if you notice, and I've got some issues here, a couple of hosts down, or a host down, but the main thing I want to show you is the new interface. Notice we've got new icons, we've got uh, the look and uh, layout of everything is just a bit crisper in my opinion. I think it's a little bit easier to uh, workflows uh, where information uh, is located and they tweak things a bit here and there. So not just a major overhaul of that vSphere client, but enough that after you perform the update, you're like, wow, it's a, it's a new, it's a new interface. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It shows just how easy managing the life cycle of uh, VCSA appliance really is through the VAMI interface. You can uh, pull down updates very easily. It's very self-contained, uh, nothing out of the ordinary to update your appliance and many new features for vSphere 7 uh, update 2. And again, I want to reference that blog post and put those in the description. So hit uh, subscribe, hit like on the video if you like the content and future videos that I'm going to post. Be sure to subscribe so you get those uh, as soon as I post those out there. So uh, keep home labbing guys. And this is Brandon Lee once again for Virtualization How-To.